name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for sure. Today we are doing a CJ the Chance video. I'll be your resident black friend talking through the whole entire thing. Hey, look, look, I have got a black friend. So let's go ahead and, uh, oh yeah, this was a viewer request. All right, so remember, if it sucks, you ask for it. Oh yeah, and this is my natural hair foil. So I, that's the weirdest thing I've ever gotten. Like somebody kept saying like, wow, you know, that's a wig that she wears. Uh, duh. Yes, it is. <laughs> Cause this is, Mufasa is my natural hair. This is all I'm trying to say. No disrespect. So then after this is over, she's like, wow, y'all did it. Congratulations. Now let's start exercise two. Huh? Y'all got 48 hours to get your asses to the camp. So, uh, quit looking at me stupid and get the stepping. Is this nigga serious? Let's start it. Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time to return to the round table of Black Air Force activity Let's go. because a new challenger has approached All to right. be judged and to take their rightful seat at this sacred table of demons. And it's none other than this sweet, innocent little... <sighs> Bro, I'm not even going to sugarcoat this sh The literal spawn of Satan, Tanya Von de Gerichoff. This ain't no damn little girl. This is a demon child, a warmonger, a tyrant. This is pure evil, immortal form. Like, I think I teased this video all the way back with, like, Truck Coon. What was that, like, a year ago? <laughs> Jesus. But y'all already know we got the evidence on deck. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like the last time I said that it wasn't that bad, right? Roberta, <laughs> fuck that one. So, I'm not gonna say that she's not that bad, but what I am gonna say is, uh, here at Shade Too Sweet, enterprises we defend all villains here we defend every villain here trust and believe i've been defending madara and vegeta for half of my channel so i bet whatever she does is not even that bad i don't even know how to pronounce her name and it's not even that bad okay so let's go ahead and jump into this i'll i'll, I'll prove i'll prove that she i bet she had a good reason to, to do everything that she did in this video and it is finally time to observe the isekai demon. So, without further ado, Exhibit A. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit A, okay. the origins of a demon. Okay. So, we start off in 2013. Meet Tanya. I beg your pardon? Yeah, this Jeff Bezos-ass businessman is Tanya. So, as we can see, bro is laying off this guy right here. Bro said, listen, you ain't clocking in on time. You do subpar work, and you lazy as hell, so you fired, nigga. But bro's like, please, I have a family. And? I'm so tired of this shit. Okay, now, everybody's gonna be like, well, Shay, damn it. You came on vacation ready and amped. I am so tired of this, hearing this line, as in, what does your family have to do with you not fucking working. Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb, huh? I don't understand. This is not a charity. I'm paying you to do your fucking job, okay? So I don't understand why you want a goddamn handout, okay? So go, if I, if you are handed some work to do, I would recommend you fucking do it. I don't give a fuck about your family. Fuck them kids. Why do I care? I'm not fucking your wife. Can I fuck your wife? What, really? How cool is your wife? How sexy is your wife? Hold up. I'm getting off point here. But you understand what I'm saying, right? Don't judge me. I didn't ask you to judge me. But you understand what I'm trying to say? But then he says, uh, is that supposed to be my problem? You see, if you wasn't doing some shitty ass work, you wouldn't be in this situation right now. So f*** out of my face. Oh my god. So later on, while homie is at the train station, he ends up getting pushed into the tracks by the dude that got let off. <sighs> Boy. That escalated quickly. And then he appeared once more. <laughs> What's good with y'all niggas? Y'all never thought y'all would see me again, huh? <laughs> well, I'm back even better than ever. Look at me, I'm a train. What, y'all thought y'all would never see me again after what the Tokyo Revengers did? After I squished that bitch and made her a can of spam? <laughs> it's so satisfying to see a protagonist's bones squished and splattered on my windshield. 
you will be a fine addition to our collection. Now, time to get your plan, guys. Oh, wait! So, homie ended up... So, um... Yeah, yeah, give me a minute. Shay, you were talking all that shit before, so what about now? Um, my whole thing is, I wouldn't recommend you ride a train. There you go. If you're going to be a big baller, you have your own car, okay? There you go. Have your own car, all right? Truck Coon does not normally attack other cars. Truck Coon and Train Coon attack people who happen to be in the way. So, that is a known fact. So, get a car. If you go, if you got, if you, if you big baller, get a car. There you go. All right. And then I don't trust, I don't trust fucking train stations anywhere. This, I know this is an anime, but there's too many real people getting pushed in front of trains, bruh. I would say shout outs to New York and shout outs to Chicago, but I don't want to shout them out for it. Getting reincarnated into Tanya. And now bro really in the trenches. So Tanya had a plan. She said, I, right, I'll just join the military. So she ended up rising through the ranks pretty fast because she has the conscience of a 40 year old man. So she ended up becoming a drill sergeant. So she like, I ain't listen to fuck up. You listen to everything I say. If you disobey me, I will not hesitate to put my foot up your ass. If you disobey me again, I will put a bullet in your motherfucking skull. King Kong ain't got shit on me. Am I clear, nigga? Um, question, can I go to the bathroom? Sure, you can go to the bathroom. You know what? You could do it right now for everybody to see. Oh my God. So obviously they're taking this as a joke because they think that, oh, this is just a little girl. But dear God, they will learn. Cause later on in the day, an explosion ends up happening. And she blasted these niggas out of the classroom. So then she walks up and she's like, mm, mm, mm. look at y'all on the ground, ass tooted up like a bitch. So then bro tried to hit her, but then she just slapped him. Then she says, didn't I tell you if you disobey me, I will put a bullet in your skull? Looks like your brains need to be rearranged because you can't follow orders for shit. But then dog has to stop He's like, hello, hello, chill. <laughs> so after this incident, they ended up sending her on this recon mission. So I'm not, I'm gonna just say this. I, like I said in my Revy video, like I said, like I just say normally, all right? Y'all gonna stop fucking messing with us short people, okay? Us short people, we already know we short, okay? I'm little. Yes. Gary Comb is little. Yes. Mini me is little. So y'all gonna stop trying our patience, all right? Us short people will, like I say, we will, we will unite up and, and we will step on each other's back so we can finally reach the counter, okay? But one thing I'm gonna need you to do is put some respect on our heights name, okay? Go. Nope. Stop playing with my fucking name. Thank you. So she ends up finding some enemies, so she calls an artillery strike on them. So while they're getting bombed, she's just watching them, and she's like, look at them running around like ants. Pathetic. They deserve to die. But while she's doing this, she ends up getting attacked. So she's like, hey, cuz, I need reinforcements. But then they say, I'm oh, sorry, but uh, we ain't got no reinforcements right now. Huh? So you all on your own. Delay the enemy till then. <laughs> Over and out, my nigga. Don't care. Stay mad. And look at her, she like, oh, hell no, they're sending me to die. But then she that. just starts losing it. She like, well, oh, fuck. Looks like we on pack watch tonight. So she blitzes them and starts blasting. Oh my God, she blew up his arms. But then she ends up running out of ammo. So she's like, huh, looks like I have to improvise. So she sucks this nigga. Then she grabs homie from behind and she's like, do you want to go boom boom? Oh, shoot! Overkill. Oh my gosh, she killed all of them. And look at her fall and she's like, <laughs> pussies. So after that shenanigan, she ended up getting an award. And now they done put her on the front lines. So she starts fighting this company right here and she just starts going ballistic. So then she blisses these dudes and cuts homie's head clean off. Demonstration! <laughs> They sent her out to die. She had a um, a psychotic break, all right? We don't label people as demons, okay? We just label them uh, 
people who don't know God. You know lying is lit. Lying is the wave. There you go. Because you know what? Labels labels are so 2000, you know, 21. You know, she just seems like a person who is misunderstood and everything else. That blood spotter is not on her. It's it's on it's on it's on the um it's on the people who set her up. What am I supposed to say? She's a nice person. With a ginormous smile on her face. Oh, she's Double just kill. clapping Triple them. Kill. So then she flies all the way up and starts talking to him. Attention, you are on Imperial grounds. This is our land, so f off with that busted ass hockey puck on your head. So obviously they don't listen. So they just start shooting at her, but she just eats it. So she's like, ugh, so uncivilized. Well, time to pull out the aim button. Tactical nuke incoming! Yeah. So after the shot, she's like, <coughs> God damn, your packs hit hard as shit. Now, please surrender, and Uh, Lieutenant, I think they're dead. God damn it. So after this, Tanya ended up having a run-in with these two soldiers. So these dudes end up trying to go take out the artillery, but that's not their orders. So Tanya's like, yo, the f*** y'all doing, man? That is not my orders. Get y'all asses back here. But they didn't listen and did it anyways. So later on, when they get back to camp, she, she calls them in and she says, all right, y'all niggas going home. You can't listen to orders. I ain't got no patience for somebody that can't do their job. But they like, hell no, nah, I'm playing work. So then she just looks at him and says, so are you saying that you're disobeying me? So you're saying I should kill you niggas right here. But yes. Victoria ends up stopping her. So she's like, ah, fine, f out of my face. But don't think y'all getting off light. So after this, those two ended up getting stationed at the rear because Tanya sent them there. So some days end up passing. So they end up getting a report saying that those two dudes, Cursed and Harold, are dead. They ended up getting hit by a random shell. So Victoria goes and tells Tanya, yo, uh, Cursed and Harold are dead. And she's like, yeah, I know. So she's like, wait, 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 what? <laughs> then Tanya says, that pillbox is very exposed and is an easy target for artillery fire, don't you think? So then she realizes, oh my God, <laughs> Lieutenant, did you send them niggas to die? <laughs> oh no, bro. She sent them to their death because she knew that place was going to get attacked. She said, I am the judge, jury, and executioner. Oh, no. Nah. I can honest a guy in this trial right here just off of that. But this is just the beginning. It gets 10 times worse. So, yeah, that was Exhibit A, and it's time to move on to Exhibit B. Okay, so so basically in Exhibit A, what we what did we learn? Don't try short people height. Don't try her gangster. And don't go against her word. I don't understand why that is so hard. She's in a position of power. What you can't, you don't want to, you don't want a small person to lead you. Well, fucking, d why does it matter? Shay, you don't know the Lord. No, no, duh, duh. I didn't know that I had a, a, a you know, another small sistering because brothering would be whatever. I didn't know I had another small sister. She, she probably, ha, ha, she's probably five, four, just like me. So why do I care? Wait, why do I care? I care thoughts and prayers to the family of the people who didn't listen. But it's war, so what do you want? Like if you can't respect your general, then why are you fucking out there? I don't I don't have any sympathy. Watch this is like based on like fucking Nazis and then I'm like capping so hard for her. <laughs> it is what it is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit B, War Crimes. So Tanya ends up getting permission from the generals to have a special battalion all to herself. So they give her a month to train them. So at the training ground, she ends up blowing up the entire place. So she's like, wake up, bitches. It's time for target practice, but not for y'all, for me. So hope y'all can survive for 36 hours. So she ends up shooting up a bunch of duds. Well, then one ends up blowing up. So she's like, oh, I forgot. I accidentally added some live shells in there too. So, uh, good luck. 
So this ends up going for 36 hours, a whole day and a half. So then after this is over, she's like, wow, y'all did it, congratulations. Now let's start exercise two. Huh? Y'all got 48 hours to get your asses to the camp. So uh, quit looking at me stupid and get the stepping. Is this nigga serious? So she made them track all the way through the freezing cold and through enemy territory to the new camp. So then they also ended up getting hit by an avalanche. So she's just standing over him like, wow, y'all some bums. <laughs> so bro right here is knocked out. So she flies over to him and kicks the <laughs> shit out of him. Then she just picks up dude right here and she's like, god damn y'all sorry as shit. So about a month later, their training arc finally completes. And look at her, she's like, Ugh, I wish some of y'all died. But oh well, congratulations. <laughs> you are no longer bitches. So let's go catch some bodies. So they end up fighting this one country called Daki. So while they lighten them up, Tanya's just looking down on them like, wow, they are pathetic. What are they doing? The f are they? The British in the Revolutionary War? They're lining up in a line. Nigga, this ain't 1776. What so later on, they end up finding their base. So she lands and she's like, greetings. Welcome to the fatherland. What is the purpose of your visit? Do you have your visas? Because if not, we're going to have to deport your asses. Body bags included. So they start shooting at her and she says, so uncivilized. Kill them. Kill them now. <laughs> So then after this, she's like, all right, y'all want to have some fun? Let's go to their capital and blow that sky high. <laughs> so King Kong ain't got shit on me. That night, they end up pulling up to the. I have a rebuttal for this. I have a rebuttal. Why did they invade first if you don't want no smoke? You see what I'm saying? Like, don't start nothing, won't be nothing. You see what I'm saying? If you if you think about it, right? So that's what I always get when people be like, well, 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 the these people are totally innocent. I mean, but you were invading my country. This is the same argument I use for fucking parody. Okay. These people been sending Titans all, all, all the way over there fucking them up, fucking everybody up. And then right when Jaeger goes and transforms and kills some kids over there. Fuck them kids. Everybody's like, oh my God, I can't believe Jaeger would do that. They've been fucking up. They've been fucking up parody this whole fucking time and nobody had nothing to say, nothing to say. But now because thoughts and prayers for them, but no thoughts and prayers for the rest of the earth, man, fuck the earth, man. Jaeger forever. They had nothing to do with anything. Sorry, let, it, let this keep going. A capital. So they end up giving Tanya the megaphone and she's like, <clears throat> I right, killed them niggas. So they end up just blowing up the place. Good God. So after this, they end up having another battle. So in this one, she said, just so y'all know, I canceled reinforcements. I need to know if y'all got that dog in y'all. So then these <gasps> bombers end up pulling up. She's like, ah, oh, yes, time for some action. So then she ends up jumping on the plane. Then she says, greetings and goodbye. I'm gonna just leave this right here if y'all don't mind. Oh, shit. Ah! He dead. So then the other planes start retreating. So she's like, where do y'all think y'all going? Allow me to show you the latest and greatest aimbot installed by German super science. So she shoots it and oh my God, that is the most broken ass I have ever seen. Nah, that aimbot is out of control. That rivals Roberta's. Instead of FaZe, nah, I'm taking us for a throwback. Optic Tanya, nigga. So then she goes down to inspect the plane. But then time stops and you know who starts speaking to her again. Yo, what's good, little nigga? You like the wood I sent you to? Send your ass back to World War One so you can dig yourself out the trenches. Literally. That's why I sent your ass to trench warfare, nigga. But then she ends up shooting him. She's like, dog, I ain't got time for your bamboozled ass shenanigans today. Hey, dad. So then about a minute later, she finds this cabin. So then she says, God is Oh my God. <sighs> Should have been stationary in a whack ass wooden building. So then after this, Tanya ends up committing one of the most awful war crimes ever. So a resistance was forming in the Republic territory that they took over. So Tanya's crew pulls up and they try to ambush them, but this did not go well at all because she ended up bodying them. Okay, maybe I don't know what the fuck a war crime is for you, but I'm just saying a war crime for if you, if you're at war times, 
and a resistance is attacking you. It's not a war crime. It's a it's neutralizing um, some a, a threat. That's what they kind of call it. Uh, you know, they just neutralize a threat. That's it. There was nothing else. Like these, they sent him home to Jesus. What you want from me? So after they crush this entire resistance, she ends up telling them, yo, all y'all better surrender now. But obviously they don't. So this one Imperial guy ended up running out, but they ended up shooting. But Tanya was recording the entire time, just waiting for them to slip up and take the bait. So that gave her the permission to wipe out the entire town. So she ordered an artillery strike on the entire place and just destroyed everything. Home, civilians, it didn't matter. Everything was just getting blown up. So hours later, after the barrage finally ends, they end up getting orders to take out the remaining mages. But the thing is, the mages are by a bunch of civilians trying to evacuate. But Tanya's like, hmm, I don't care, an order's in order. So bro right here comes in and he tries to stop her. He's like, yo, this is just morally wrong. This is terrible. But she's like, an enemy is an enemy. Look at all them civilians right there. You think that some of them ain't gonna turn into soldiers one day? Oh, look, buddy, you best believe they are. One. Woman, kid, it don't matter. So then she smacks homie and puts him on the ground. So then she puts the gun on the ground and she says, so what's it gonna be? You or them? You can follow waters, can't you? So do it! <laughs> and let's just say that was a very dark day. So yeah, that was ex So he killed the kids? Really, nigga? I, I think I don't think she did nothing wrong. I mean fuck them kids. This is all I'm trying to say. No disrespect. Basically, right when you leave a kid alive, they do come back and they try to kill you. Axe or betray you. Axe Frieza. That's what fucking Vegeta tried to do. Any anime, they do that. They like, they they kill the parents, they kill the planet, and then the people that they leave alive come back for a, for vengeance. So you know what you do? You just, Frieza had a good idea. He just nuked them all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find a way to clean up this video because this sounding really bad. Exhibit B and it is finally time for our final exhibit. Exhibit C. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have finally reached our final exhibit. Exhibit C, tearing apart a family. Meet Colonel Sue, a colonel from the US, like literally homeboys from Arkansas. So his daughter ends up giving him this gun. And this is very important. So later on, they end up having this battle with Tanya. And Tanya and them fucking them up, I ain't gonna lie. Colonel Sue's forces are dropping like flies. So then he sees Tanya and he starts having PTSD. He's like, wait a minute, I remember you. You're that little girl that took out my whole squad that one day. Swear to God, I'm gonna kill your ass. So he is a rushing her, but she just stabs the life out of this man. Perfect. So she looks at him and she's like, wait a minute, haven't I seen you before? Well, uh, it really don't matter. <laughs> You're a side character. I'll be taking that gun though. <laughs> so she kills him and leaves him for dead. Or so we thought, because bro was still alive. He somehow tanked it. He tanked it with the power of God. So about a week later, while they on another mission, bro comes back and look at him. He's dripped out with an eye patch now. So he start going crazy. He got the trench gun and everything. Bro is not playing games. So when he ends up getting close, she kicks a gun out of his hand and pulls out the attack knife. So she stabs him and she's like, yeah, how you like that, big boy? But bro ate the knife and he's about to explode himself. But the little old duckling ended up coming and saving her. So then she pulls out his gun and she's like, say goodnight, motherfucker. So she ended up dumping the whole mag in his ass. Then bro had no choice, so he just blew himself up after that. What a bitch. Look at a coffin. <laughs> Watch, nigga. Rip, bozo, you won't be missed. Appreciate the new gun. So after she offed him, his daughter, the person that gave him that gun, Mary Sue, ended up enlisting to avenge her father. And dear God, her name is Mary Sue for a reason. Because she is a literal Mary Sue. She is broken. She's got the power of Jesus and Tanya's power on crack. 
So Tanya gets sent off to this country that's basically Russia in their world. So she gives them the mission briefing so Victoria asks her, yo, are we permitted to defend ourselves or what? And she says, they're communist. Blow the shit out of King Kong ain't got shit on me. Oh. <laughs> so they get to Moscow and she's like, all right, y'all know what to do like this bitch up. So they just start wreaking havoc and blowing up everything. Then she saw this statue and said, hmm, I don't like that shit, tear that shit down. <laughs> So then after they destroy the place, she's like, ah, oh, that looks way much better. I should invest in real estate here now. So then after Nigga, this, they I'm do dead. one of the most absolutely disrespectful things I've ever seen. They plant their flag on their capital and starts to sing their national anthem while shooting a music video. <laughs> oh, no, nah, bro. Who in their right mind would think of this? This is a hostile takeover on another level. She disrespected them in their hood. So then here come old Mary Sue cooking her head ass. So Tanya says, my God, you are a bother. Here, eat my empty mag. So then she gut checks her. And then Mary Sue's like, wait, wait, wait a minute. Isn't this the gun that I bought my dad? Oh, no, nah, this was the bitch that killed my dad. So then Tanya just starts lighting her up with her own gun that she bought her dad. And she put her ass out of commission. So then a couple days pass out another battle and Mary ends up pulling up again. So they start fighting. So Mary's like, you stupid little nigga, you killed my papa. And Tanya's like, uh, do you think I care? Not my problem, bitch. So Tanya ends up just straight up nuking. So she goes down to see if she's still alive. And she starts walking out that hole like the Terminator. She said, bitch, you best know I'm from Arkansas. The f I'm a Razorback, nigga. So she ends up socking Tanya and sends her into the spin cycle. Then she's looking at her like, I waited for this day so goddamn long. So she just starts beating her. Mickey, monka, get your ass up, girl. So then after she finishes beating the life out of Tanya, she starts looking at this angel and she's like, ah, oh, yes, praise God. But Tanya ends up throwing a knife in her. So she tries to attack her, but she pops her. And then she said, you uncivilized animal. <laughs> Tell your daddy I said hello. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God, bro. She is just different. The dad and the daughter? Yes. I appreciate this character. I like her. I like her, even though she started off as a man and now she's a little girl. I like her as a character. I think she's a very good character. I really do. This is what this is what I always tell people. Don't turn your back on your enemies, man. And if you already got them like that and you're in a wartime, double tap their ass. Empty the clip out on them, okay? That you send them to Jesus and have Jesus sort them out. I don't understand that you 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 gazing at an angel and shit, and then the girl who killed your dad is still breathing behind you. I don't care if I broke my hand on this girl's face, I will still find something and smash her skull in. What I don't understand why we don't do that anymore, okay? You're from Arkansas, okay? You're, you're an American, all right? United States of America. Double tap that hoe, okay? <laughs> Demon. But right before she's about to finish her off, homeboy ended up coming uh, in and saving her. Ooh, oh, she got God. lucky. And look at her. She's like, damn. Should have domed her ass. Facts. Hey, hey, hey. All right, I've seen enough. Sit down. This is just demonic. The war crimes committed. Killing your own men. Literally traumatizing Mary Sue, as well as killing her father with a gun that she gave him, as well as cussing out God on multiple occasions? This is truly the spawn of Satan. So yeah, that's another episode down. So uh hope y'all enjoy it. Make sure you follow your boy on IG and Twitter. Well, well, it still stands. I don't think she did anything wrong. I, I I feel like I feel like a lot of the things that was done to her was wrong, and um, yeah, she didn't really do anything wrong. If you're in war times, all that humanity and shit goes out the fucking window. I don't understand why. Please don't be a bleeding heart and go to war, cause the shit's not gonna work out well. Well, not for you at least, because they're gonna kill you. So, um, no, I don't think she did anything wrong. I don't think she did anything wrong. Uh, I think she's a really nice girl and um, thoughts and prayers to um, her 
and her injuries that she um that she got and mary sue you lucky because i think you probably have plot armor to come back to be a rival and everything else but i think everybody else got served up like a piece of pie like they're supposed to but again thank y'all so much oh uh, thank y'all so much my name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. This is my natural hair. Hope y'all enjoyed it. It's a, it's a lot. It's a lot. Okay? It's a lot. Alright? But, um, go subscribe. Come subscribe to my channel. I'm off of vacation. Put all your, uh, put all of your, uh, what do you fucking call those things? Request down below. Again, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. And like my grandmother always say, so long. Animals and bitches feeling like the Serengeti on it.